Hey everybody, NavyDoc5184 here and welcome to another music reaction. Today we are reacting to Black Swan and their music video for tonight. So the last Black Swan I did was um, their video for Karma and I have to say for K-pop, that was probably one of the most unique things I've seen in the terms of they just seemed really completely different than all the other K-pop groups I have heard. I mean, the sound felt different. The group lineup itself was definitely different. I love how it was such a mix of nationalities with that group. I mean, it was very unique. I mean, I know everybody has always said that that's their catchphrase is be unique. So they have definitely did that. So this is definitely a group I've been looking forward to getting back to. And we are now going to do that today. Uh, this was uh, one that was strongly... Uh, suggested to me by um other folk to uh, definitely check out for them i think i have like maybe two or three others besides that i'll have to double check but we're gonna go ahead and go with tonight we'll see what they have in store for us uh, here so um we're gonna go ahead and get started i will leave a link to the original music video in the description below let's go ahead and get this thing started Okay. Talk about different. Okay, ladies. Okay, so, uh, yeah, they're holding true to their, uh, motto. Wow, that is the most different sounding song I have ever heard when it comes to K-pop. This was not a type of sound I was expecting from them, and I am here for it. This, I don't know right off the bat kind of like what it reminds me of. I just get such a familiar feeling with the way the music is. And the way, even the singing style in a way, I just can't put my finger on what exactly the genre is I'm putting it. Because I wouldn't necessarily call it a rock, but it definitely feels a little harder than your normal pop, if you know what I mean. I know that there was like an actual term for it, I just can't think of it right now. But, I mean, straight from as soon as everything started... I could tell that this was going to be different and I'm starting to really kind of understand why a lot of people like this because it is kind of like a nice change. Again, it will probably be hard to dethrone Blackpink just because with Blackpink for me, it's a very, um, I guess you could say, I don't, I don't want to say emotional attachment to it, but since they're the ones that really kind of got me into like, okay, maybe I can actually you know, give this whole K-pop a chance. So, you know, they're the ones that really got me into it. You know, whereas a lot of people, you know, might feel the same with BTS, uh, where they're the ones that got them into it. So for them, they will always be uh, their favorites. But I can definitely see why this group is so appealing because of the fact that, you know, they don't mimic the sounds, they don't mimic the movements, they don't mimic... I mean, they're unique. Again, that's their motto is to be unique, and they're very unique. Uh, and not even just with the style, but as I said before, the fact that they have multiple nationalities in that group is such a unique thing. And there's really a lot to be said about that, the fact that they could go against the grain that much. And whew, I honestly don't know why I haven't heard them more in discussions of like K-pop groups, probably because they are so... I guess you say out of the box that, you know, people don't want to. And when I say people, I mean the powers that be that really promote the groups, you know, are probably like, well, they aren't what we consider K-pop, but they need to be mentioned amongst the groups like BTS, um, Twice, Blackpink, um, was it Monster X? Uh, I think that's the name of the group. You know, oh, wow, these ladies are amazing.
even their dancing feels different. Even the music video style feels different. I mean, everything about them feels so different. And it's a beautiful thing. I only pause it because I want to expand off what I just got done saying about how even the music video feels different. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it feel I don't want to say um, it definitely not so much a darker theme. I mean, I've seen some Blackpink videos that you know, where they weren't in like a bunch of, I guess you say lit areas, you know, they had like the neon and everything, but I don't know. It's just something about the way that Black Swan does this video that just feels different from all the other K-pop music videos I've seen, you know, in terms of how it looks visually. I mean, even the outfits, the fact that Pretty much for the whole thing, they're in matching outfits. You know, it's not very often I see that too much. You know, I feel like everyone's kind of got their own style, which is perfectly fine for everybody to have their own style. I actually kind of respect groups that do that. But again, just because that's not something I'm used to seeing and the fact that I'm seeing them matching so much, I think is kind of like what is making it even more like I've really got to dive into this world more and see more of their stuff because this is definitely probably the most unique k-pop group i've ever seen and i will stress again a lot of people will use the term unique to try to keep from insulting the group but there is nothing to be insulted about this group when i say that they're unique that is a huge term of endearment because based on how i have seen or have at least heard how other groups are treated, you know, amongst the powers that be when it comes to, uh, you know, the um, companies that sign these groups and everything and how much control they have. You know, the fact of seeing that they are pretty much going against all the norms is something that deserves a ton of respect. A ton. See, now here's like the little light and colorful spots in there that you would kind of see in that, but this right here too. That rap right there. Alright everybody, that was Tonight by Black Swan, and that was pretty much exactly what I expected in the fact that it wasn't anything that I'm used to seeing when it comes to watching K-pop music videos. I mean, I've already hit on what I already felt was different about it, just, I mean, just apart from just the matching outfits, but even the visuals felt different, the music itself was very different i i don't think i've ever heard a k-pop song like done in that style i'm not saying that there hasn't been any i'm not the most well versed in k-pop yet so this there could be other songs that kind of have this sound i just haven't heard it yet and i still don't know their names but the one who was doing the rapping wow <laughs> she got some skills i like her rap a lot 
And what I really love about it is how different that even sounded. I mean, I don't think there's anything that they do in terms of the song itself or even the music video that felt like it's your typical K-pop music video. Everything about it felt different and I am here for it. It's such a beautiful thing to watch. And I think it's going to be one of those things that will make it easier for me to do more K-pop stuff down the middle. Because if things feel like they're getting too, I don't want to say stale, but it feels like, you know, you know, I feel like I've heard this before. Just go to a Black Swan song and, you know, I'm refreshed. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful thing. But, um, wow. I really wish I really knew where to go with this outside of the fact that these ladies deserve a ton of respect. I don't know what label um, they're with. I just know that, you know, I, I hear a lot about how labels really are very um, hands-on and controlling about, you know, just how their groups interact, you know, whether it's on social media, whether it's outside, um, the type of music they do and everything like that. It doesn't sound like the artists themselves have a whole lot of control over it. So, and that's probably why a lot of it sounds very similar is because, you know, I would imagine that there's probably one big label. I mean, naturally there's going to be other labels, but, you know, there's like always that one label that everybody strives to hit, you know, I mean, think about back in the day for, you know, African-American artists where everybody wanted to be on Motown, but if you really look at it, you know, Motown had its own sound. So a lot of the Motown artists sounded the same, you know, in a way. Granted, you know, as time went on, you know, they did diversify a little bit for, you know, like in the early days, you know, a lot of it sounded the same. Not that it wasn't good, you know, but it, sometimes that felt like when you heard one artist, uh, you know, you've heard you've heard them all in a way. Um, the only thing that really diversified them is um, their voices. Like if you heard the voice, you're like, oh, well, that you know, you know, the Supremes when you hear, it. you know, um, was it Martha Reeves when you hear her. You know, even though the songs themselves may sound similar, those voices are very distinct. Um, for us casual K-pop fans, you know, you could hear a K-pop song and you're like, unless you really know the group, you're not going to really know one or the other. But I feel like that if you're a casual fan and you hear Black Swan, you're like, okay, I know, you know, these bands and I know this is not one of them. They are ones where they definitely have set themselves apart from all the other groups and that deserves a ton of respect. So I'm really looking forward to reacting to them some more. Um, I, like I said, I know I've got some, about two or three other songs there in my watch list already, but please send me some more um, uh, links for some of their other stuff. I would love to hear these ladies some more because these they are awesome and i'm really enjoying reacting to them so thank you guys for stopping by i hope you all enjoyed that reaction and i will catch you all down the road